Okay, so I just got done with my uh, acid base uh, chemistry exam. Um, so acid base stuff is known to be kind of difficult. Um, and this, on my review, we had a review of like 139 questions. And this one was one of the first ones to give me a load of trouble. And I had to go to a couple different tutors to figure this out. So I wish someone had made this kind of video for me. So I'm going to make this for you guys. So here is the question. Um, and I've noticed that all these questions are word for word, number for number online. So maybe this will help out someone else in the future. Um, so number 26, you can read it, pause the video and read it. Um, and then let's uh, get started. So with this problem, um, first, I like to set up the equation so I can see the overall picture of what I'm working with. So in this problem, we will start with, uh, and I like to use the shorthand with acid and base. So with this problem, I started with the shorthand of uh, HA plus OH goes to A minus plus H2O. So you're the weak acid, which in this case is H2. 2PO4, the OH, which will be NaOH in the problem, um, A minus, which is the conjugate base, which will be uh, H2PO4 minus the H, so just HPO4, and then, of course, water. So let me write out the full, well, almost full equation. I like to take some shortcuts here. So H2PO4 plus the NaOH produces HPO4 plus H2O. All right, and so now that we have the equation, we are ready to get going. So now I like to take a look at the numbers of the, the moles. We want to find out the moles of each of these things, reactants here. So we'll take, um, the NaOH we'll start with because it's in the problem it's the first. So we take the 150 milliliters, multiply it by the one molarity, and we get 0.15 moles of NaOH. 0.15 moles of NaOH. And then we take the number, crunch the numbers for the H2PO4, and that gives us 0 0.25. 0 0.25 moles. Uh, with H2O, I always just write L because liquid means we don't have to deal with it. So that's awesome. And then the A minus, the HPO4 here, the conjugate base, we uh, I'll start with zero here. And then, so we're adding the NaOH, which will give us zero, of course. And then we're adding NaOH to H2PO4, which leaves us with 0 0.10, still in moles. Uh, in this side, we add the 15. Here we subtracted, and on this side, we're going to add the 0.15. So that will give us 0.15 moles of the A minus, 0.10 moles of the HA. And then H2O we don't really deal with, so that's awesome. Still, um, next. So now, um, I would. I think we should just figure out what the original pH is of this problem. So the original pH, and you know the Hasselbach-Henderson or whatever it's called equation, uh, equals the pKa. Um, in this problem, you, we can just look up the Ka, and the Ka in this case is 6.3 times 10 negative 8. Uh, I assume you know how to turn the Ka into the pKa, it's just the negative log of the Ka. So that gives us 7.20 plus the log of A minus 0.15 over the log of HA 0.10. All right, so when we crunch the numbers, we get 7.20 plus uh, 0.18. And then crunch those numbers further, and we get 7.38. That is our original pH right here, 7.38. Now, the problem is telling us that what is asking how much, or it's here, how many moles of HCl must be added to this buffer to change the pH by 0.18 units. 
So we think about HCl, okay, that's a strong acid that's going to decrease the pH, right? So the 0.18 is going to cause, is go, we're going to drop the original pH by 0.18. So I'll put that here, drop by 0.18 because of the HCl. And that gives us, let's see, that gives us 7.2, which uh, you'll notice is also the same number up here, which helps a lot in this problem. So this is the pH that we want. We want the pH that we want is 7.20. So how are we going to go? from our original pH to the 7.20 by dropping it with uh, 0.18 by dropping it with 0.18 um, so the next step in this problem is we know that if we make this if we make this log of A minus over HA equal to 1 then this whole section here will equal to 0 and leaving us just with 7.20 so let's figure that out so uh, 1 equals the A minus over HA. Um, and we do this again because if we can make this this section here equal to 0 right here, let me, let me square it off. If we can make this section here equal to 0 then we will be left with just 7.20. So I like to write this like this original P8, original uh, A minus over HA is 0.15 over 0 0.10. And then um, to make this section equal to 0, we have to make these numbers divided by each other equal to 1. So we have to make this the same number. So I calculated it out. And if we make those numbers 0.125 each, then we are in business and this will be equal to 0 and 7.20 will be the remaining pH so here's the uh, the answer coming up so get ready um, so what do, what number do we take away from 5.15 to make 0.125 well that's 0 0.025 and what number can we add to 0.10 to make this number again 0 0.025 um, and I'm going to square this because this is basically our answer. This is the amount of HCl still in moles. So this is the amount of moles that we need to drop the pH by 0.18. So, so our uh, pH equals 7.20. Because again, this section now equals 0 since we dropped the pH by 0.18 because we added HCl mole, this much HCl, moles of HCl um, into the buffer system. So hopefully that helps you a little bit and uh, stay tuned for the next video.